Hello, it's John back again with another um, tutorial to do with Lightroom. Today what I'd like to do is to look at straightening verticals and levelling photos. Now if you look at this photo that I have, what you have in front of me, you can see these two towers on Tower Bridge are actually appear to be leaning in towards one another. And the reason this occurs is because my camera is pointing in a slight upward angle. If I was standing on the edge of um, on the edge of a building, say, and I was pointing my camera down, then you'd actually see the buildings diverge um, because of the um, distortion and the perspective introduced by not having the lens um, parallel to the, the the ground. So what I'd like to do is show you briefly the tools which are available within Lightroom to both level the photograph and to correct. These, these verticals. So to level the, the photo, the easiest way to do this is to go into the crop tool and use this little spirit level type thing here called straighten tool. And then all I need to do is just draw a line across the image that Lightroom thinks, oh, well, that should be horizontal in this case, um, and it will straighten the photo. If I click on the that again and we do a vertical line instead, then what it will do is it will try and make that vertical line um, vertical. So again, it will try and rotate the image to uh, try and get that, that straight. Now, that's how you level a photograph. Of course, what it doesn't do is it doesn't do anything about these converging verticals. To do that, we need to go into Lens Corrections. And if we start off on the Basic tab, I have these five buttons here. Off means don't do anything. Auto will look at the image, it'll analyze the image and try and determine whether it's the image is mostly out in the vertical plane or in the horizontal plane. Um, and it will try and straighten one of those. If we click on Auto, we'll see what happens with this. And it's tried to straighten this first tower and it's done a little bit of work on the second tower, but I think that second one is still out a little bit. It's leaning over towards the right. If we just use level, then what it will do is it will try and level the image. Uh, let's try and simulate that. If we just make this clearly unlevel, is that a word? Well, it is now. Um, so we go back to um, to off and we just click on level. And that's you can see that it tried to level the photo. Just reset everything and um, if we try and click on vertical now then what it will do is it'll look at the photograph and it'll try and fix the verticals so again let's try to fix the verticals now to me it looks as though that second tower here looks pretty straight but this first one is now leaning over towards the right so let's again reset this and I'm going to show you now how we can do this manually so under lens corrections we have the manual button we click on manual and we've got all of these these different sliders here um so i want to correct verticals now if you notice as i move my or put my mouse over these arrows i get a grid which appears if i click on vertical i can then rotate this image back and forth until i get the, the towers appearing to be vertical and that's not too bad. I think that's that's pretty close, actually. Um, I would probably end up going with that. But you can see what it's done. It's put this white, um, this white space around the image. Now, on a photograph like this, I'd need to crop crop the image, the, the photo. But if you're doing something where you have, I don't know, trees, perhaps, or maybe you've got a field or something like that then you could perhaps take this into Photoshop and fill that in. But really what I'm trying to say to you here is that if you are in a position where you have to straighten an image, whether it's the verticals or the uh, horizontals, you will need to crop the photograph. Which means that if you realise that you're pointing your photograph upwards, say, that you need to compose the photo to leave you space to be able to crop it uh, to get rid of this this white space to get rid of this white space 
very easy I just click on constrain crop and it will automatically crop the photo to get rid of it and that's it really that's all there is to straightening a photograph um, we do have other controls in here so if we had uh, distortion due to the lens maybe barrel distortion we can actually do some stuff with that actually just clear the constrain crop and you can see that we can get all sorts of weird effects with this uh, and as usually in Lightroom if we just double click on the word next to it we can um, reset it we can change the horizontal so what I'm doing here is rotating this about a vertical axis and we can see that uh, what it's doing we can rotate an image so this is kind of like using the spirit level within the crop tool and again you can see what we're doing and we can scale the image we can just effectively just zoom in or zoom out and then finally we can change the aspect of the image so this is stretching it all um, in both the horizontal and vertical directions and because we're in manual mode here and we're not using any of the basic and standard lens corrections if we had a vignette on here we could actually correct the vignette um, by just using the slider and changing where it's centered upon the um, the photograph but uh, to be honest that's not part of the the tool that I use um, if I'm going to do this I would tend to use enable profile corrections instead but thank you for watching that's uh, all I really wanted to cover with straightening photographs so come back again and we'll look at um, a complete start to end development process of an image thank you for watching